hit the subscribe button and press the bell button for more videos. Where am I? I'm in Manchester. I'm in Manchester. Why am I in Manchester? Oh, I'm in Manchester because I come to see Chelsea, Chelsea Wright's lawyer. We'll get on to that. But I'm also here because I have a book launch here on Friday night with a thousand people coming. And guess what? The police are doing their usual tactics. They visited two venues yesterday, the one in Manchester and the one in Newcastle. Now they've managed to get the one in Newcastle to pull the plug on my book launch on Saturday. They're trying to get the one in Manchester to pull the plug on my book launch. If they were successful, this is what I'm going to have the meeting today with the police to explain this. If they were successful, there's a thousand people coming to Manchester this Friday night. I'm still going to meet all of them. And if they're successful in cancelling the venue, if they were, I don't think they will be, but if they were, everyone would be refunded their money and I'll personally meet everyone and give them a free copy of my book. A signed free copy of my book. It would just be in, in Manchester City Centre. I'm staying in the Britannia Hotel, which in its day would have been a great hotel, but does a shit breakfast. Shh. Terrible breakfast. Anyway, let's have a butchers at the papers, shall we? I didn't get the papers. Oliver got the papers. Double trouble there. Double blurring out. Barry Shearman has claimed bitter, better educated people voted to remain. Better educated people, middle class, want low wages, okay? They benefit from immigration. Working class people are affected by immigration. It affects our standard of living. It affects the criminality where we live. It affects everything to do with our lives. So of course all these people in these leafy suburbs and villages, and of course they don't care. It doesn't affect them. It affects us. So, Mr. Shearman, you're a prick. Trump's tram ban blocked. So tr Donald Trump tried to ban transgenders from joining the military. They've not allowed him. So there will be chicks with dicks running around on the front line. Poppy clock. Stars can wear the tributes if the Germans agree. This, every time I see this, in 2000 and can't remember, 11, 12, when exactly the same argument. So what happened is, funny story. FIFA, I'm going to tell you the story. FIFA didn't allow England players to wear the poppy. Now, in response to that, we thought, right, where's FIFA's headquarters? Where's this Seth Blauer? Where, where's, where, where's he based? Switzerland, Zurich. So we then made this great idea of let's go to Switzerland and let's protest at FIFA. So I've gone with Kev and we've gone with two other friends and I've gone out the night before. This is what's happened. I've gone out the night before. I'm out, on the, I'm out drinking the night before. I've turned straight up at the airport. And, I, and Kev's like, are you a nightmare? And I said, oh, no, oh, no. We get on the plane and then I sit there and go, oh, no. And he's like, what? I forgot the banners, Kev. I forgot the banners. Yeah. Kev's like, what's the point in us coming here then? There's no protest without a banner, without people to see visually what we're about. What's the point in coming here? So I said, we'll worry about it when we got there. So we got to Switzerland. We stayed in this lovely hotel. And when you go buy a drink, they give you a little white room card, like the one I've got here. But when you... When you, go buy a, when you go buy a drink in the hotel, you hand the card in. You don't pay any money. You just keep buying drinks. Now, Kevin that went out into the town. I stayed with all these Americans in the bar. I'd had a great night, from what I remember. A great night. I've come down in the morning, and everyone's like, Tommy, Tommy. And all these people were waving at me and shouting at me. And, and Kevin that was like, fuck it, everyone knows you. I said, oh, mate, I had a good night here last night. I've gone with a card. I've said, to get a breakfast. So they've took the card and they've said, sorry, sir, you've done your limit on the card. I said, what's the limit? It's a thousand euros, sir. I've done a thousand pounds. No wonder everyone's shouting my name. I've been there, I bought this whole hotel a drink last night. And I've, I've, run, I've gone back up to the stairs. I've walked in, Kev's still laying in there in the bed. And I said, Kev, I've done a grand on this. Yeah. And Kev's laying there laughing his head off, absolutely laughing his head off. I said, Kev, this hotel is booked on your bank card, yeah? I haven't got a grand on me. This is, everything's on your card. So I'm then laughing my head off and crying my eyes out. I said, we need to get the hell out of here, mate. We need, we need to get out of here. And I've gone downstairs and spoke to the concierge. You just tell us a story, Jack and Oi. I've gone downstairs and I spoke to the concierge and said to the concierge, can you do me a favor? And I explained, we need these banners. We need banners made, yeah? They've spent an hour on the phone ringing around getting all these banners. 
We've then ordered us a taxi. So then uh, Kev's gone. Kev's left by this time. He's legged it from the hotel. I've then left and I've, I've gone out and found him. And when I found him, we've, we've got a taxi and the taxi's 250, 250 pound, the taxi was. Yeah? 250 pound. We're driving, we end up in Germany. The company that they'd sent us to to get these banners is in Germany. So we get these banners made in Germany. We come back over the border. We've got this little Pakistani taxi driver. Really nice fella. He's driving us. And I say FIFA headquarters. Take us to FIFA. We've just gone to Germany. So now he's taking us to FIFA. We pull up outside FIFA's headquarters. £280 million, state-of-the-art, big, massive building. So Kev, pre press the, the tax driver presses the security buzzer. And, and he says, who, have we, who are you? I said, we're from the British FA. So when security say, who is it? He goes, I have British FA. This is a taxi driver. So the gate's open. I'm like, we're in, we're in. Yeah. So we get in and then I sit there and I say to the taxi driver, I said, all right, mate. I said, do you see that roof there? He said, yeah. I said, I'll be on that in a minute. And I start laughing and I get out of the car. And I get out of the car and me and Kev get out of the car. My other two friends stay in the car. They stay sitting in a taxi watching. We then get in. We'll include this video in this for you. We then get in. We wait by the back doors of the, of the building for someone to open the door of a card again like this. They've opened the door. We scurry in. We go up the stairs, we get to the top floor of FIFA's headquarters and we walk in the offices and all the people are just sitting there and I walk in the office and I'm looking for windows and I find this window and I open this window in front of everyone. I open this window, I just step out of the window onto this little, fit, little barrier thing and there's a ladder. So I climb up the ladder, boom, we're on the top of FIFA's roof <laughs> and we unveil this big banner saying, how dare you disrespect our war dead. But when this is going on, when we're on the roof, my mate Davey calling, who's sitting down at the bottom, he's in the taxi. Now the taxi driver's heard all this banging. He's looked up and seen us on the roof of the roof of the FIFA cars. And his little Pakistani accent, he said, oh, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> he's, he's shot out of there with my mates in the car. We've stayed up there. We've then got, we've been arrested. Spent three days in a, in a Swiss prison. But hilarious, absolutely hilarious. When we were Nick, after three days, they separated us both when we got into the jail. So they separated us both. And from my point of view, I don't care about going to jail for that. You were disrespecting our war dead. You weren't allowing us to wear the poppy, saying it's a political, si si um, political symbol. No, it's not. So we, I, I wasn't bothered. I was happy to do that, happy for what I'd done, proud of what I'd done. After three days, we get, I haven't seen Kev the whole time I'm in there. I, I'm in with um, someone from Libya. Um, there was, do you know what? Not one Swiss person, in, not, not one person from Switzerland in the jail. That's their prisons. No Swiss people. All foreigners. All foreigners. And then on the third day of getting out, I get a walk out and I say, oh, and I, and I, say, we, I get reunited with Kev. We go to court, but I get reunited with Kev. And I'm laughing my head off. I said, oh, that was brilliant, wasn't it, Kev? Absolutely brilliant. And he was like, brilliant? Are you fucking mad? He said, I haven't slept in three days. I've been sharing a room with an Eritrean and a, and a Somalian. I've been, I've been laying there with one eye open the whole night, waiting for him to do something. And I was like, I've had a great time, mate. I was with some Libyan geezer. He spoke broken English. He was sound. And uh, just our, our total experiences were so different. But it was a great trip. We got €1,400 Euro fine and, and went home. But this time, since then, and do you know when we was up on the roof, Seth Blatt has come out. They're all out looking up at us. And the police have come. And when the police have come, I said, we're not getting off this roof until you tell us England can wear the poppy. Yeah. So we stayed up there. Then they've come back up and said, England can wear the poppy. Look at your news. Look at your news. And they'd sent a letter. They'd, 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 they'd made a public statement saying that due to in interference by the royal family, England can now wear the poppy. So they didn't give us any credit. Yeah. But then they've come up and we said, we're, we're on our phones looking for the news article. We're ringing home saying, can we wear the poppy? And they said, yeah, you can. So it was like, oh, sad. We didn't plan any of it. My feet were freezing. I had, no, I had thin socks on. It was bitter cold, but it was a great crack. It was brilliant. Anyway, that's a long story for the paper, isn't it? That's for page five. Terror Lads 14. School children. Now, police are quizzing two 14-year-old boys suspected of plotting a terror attack on a school. Yep. Officers detained the pair in raids on houses two miles apart. It followed reports of threats to the safety of staff and pupils at a secondary school in North Yorkshire, North Fallerton. Locals said police had told them they were looking at street view grabs on computers seized during their searches. Both boys were arrested as part of an ongoing police-led investigation on suspicion of preparing an act of terrorism. These two school kids, 14 years old, were going to commit terrorism at school. This is, the, this is where we're at now, 14 years old. And of course, their mum and dads would say, oh, they were lovely, lovely, lovely children. 
This is all land. Yeah. A jihadi plot in a lone wolf terror. This is another terrorist attack. This is just the UK, of course. A jihadi plot in a, a lone wolf terror attack got bomb making advice from a pharmacist he met on singlemuslim.com. <laughs> Sorry. They swapped Islamic State execution videos. God, that, that really, really, that rivals Tinder, doesn't it? Puts Tinder to show. After they looked up, she advertised her partner who fears Allah before anything else. Who the fuck is scared of some imaginary god? Who, scared, who, who gets scared of that shit? These weirdos are scared. Fear Allah. Yeah, terrified me. And I want someone who can teach me new things. I'll teach you some new things, love. Mohammed, of course, Mohammed, of Derby, and some slag from Willesden, North London, deny preparing acts of terrorism. So they've gone on, they've met each other on the equivalent, the Muslim equivalent of Tinder, and rather than decide to meet in a hotel and get it on, they've decided to, what should we blow up? How Islamic of them? What day is it today? Monday. Luton lost 3 0. 3 0, man. And home to Coventry. Gutted. We're top of the league as well. We were top of the league. But anyway, I thank you for taking the time to read one newspaper. We've only done the Daily, daily Star. We only needed to do it, weren't it? There's so much to talk about. So, on that note, if you are watching this on YouTube, you're watching it a day late, you can get it a day early by subscribing to my show, the Tommy Robinson Show, tommyrobinson.com forward slash watch. Other than that, I'm going to go meet with the police and I can see some chaos developing over the next three days with regards to my book launch. We may well have a thousand people here outside, outdoors, in Manchester City Centre this Friday night. If we do, come and join us. You'll all get free books and um, the police will realise the mistake they've made. Thank you very much.